Hey guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies. We're looking at security cameras here. We got the Defender Phoenix M2 digital wireless monitor and camera. And the thing I like about this system is you don't need an internet connection. A lot of these companies out here, ADT, Vivint, Xfinity, they want to charge you a monthly fee to monitor your stuff. And I don't want that. I just want the camera as a deterrent. If the criminal sees that camera in the window, they're going to think twice. They're not going to know if it's hooked up to the cloud. They're you're not going to know if it's a motion sensor. You got to put yourselves in the criminal's head. They want to take the path of least resistance, so they're going to look for the house that doesn't have any cameras. I got this system off of walmart.com. As you can see, it was $143.99. It's out of stock now, but I did get it. It's also available on Amazon. I'm just going to show you the prices here on Amazon. A little bit more expensive, $198, and then there are some other vendors, and $199, $203. So definitely check out Walmart or even eBay before Amazon because a lot of times they're cheaper. And I just want to show you the star rating. Where is it here on Amazon? It has 4.2 out of 5 stars. That's not too bad. Check out their rating on Walmart. 1,292 reviews so you know it's legit. And a lot of them are 4 and 5 stars. Check out this review guys. Best purchase I've made in a while. Here's another review that says just plug it in and it goes. I'm not good at the new electronic stuff but this was real easy easy, picture is great, and the sound is good. No complaints. And that's the same with me, guys. I wanted something that was real easy to hook up. I didn't want to get the house rewired for cameras. I didn't want to set up a whole Wi-Fi network just for the cameras, pay for the cloud access. Just plug it in and go. The criminal sees that camera right in the window and goes the other way. That's exactly what I want. Another review, this guy says, now I know what or who is outside my garage door. Best price and fast shipping. Right out of the box, it was a breeze to set up and get the camera up and running. The picture quality is brilliant. I love it and I feel secure knowing things are being monitored. And this guy even gives some examples. That picture quality actually does look pretty good. This guy's a big fan. Thanks Defender for helping me secure what I hold dear and valuable. Now guys, here's an interesting review. I don't know if you can read that. The type's kind of small. It says, I love this camera and monitor because they're both plugged in and no batteries are necessary. That's a good point because batteries, they can get pricey. And guys, now for the unboxing. Got my trusty pair of scissors here. Gonna uh, open this bad boy up, see what we got going on. Come on. Okay. Nice secure packaging. I see some foam in there to protect it. When that FedEx truck is jam-packed, uh, you know it's gonna be okay. Here we go, guys. A moment we've all been waiting for. Wow, it's a beauty. The old Defender Digital Wireless Security System 7-inch monitor and night vision camera. Look at that clear, crisp view. We'll see if it really looks like that when it's set up. Nice, legit-looking camera. So many little add-ons here. It even has intercom. Made in China, but designed in Canada. Now for the real moment you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna unbox this bad boy. Come on, open up there. Whoa. More secure packaging. It's got like the old egg crate style. Yeah, come on, get out of there. Wow, very nice guys. Now I've got some directions and it does look pretty straightforward. It's just a little kind of one page thing. Nothing even on the back as you can see. Just plug in a couple things and you're good to go. Get a free warranty and look at this. This is a nice little add-on. You get some decals. I don't know if you guys can see this. It says warning security system defender. And you get one, two, three, four, five, I think five of them. That's a nice little added value thing. So this is the monitor. It is really packed in there but this is the camera. This thing works as good as the packaging then I will be really, really pleased. Finally got it. It's pretty big, actually. It's like a old school GPS monitor. That's what it kind of reminds me of. This is the memory card. They give you stuff to screw it in. Looks like everything you need. And I think I can figure this out. My plan is to hook it up, then point it right out that window and check out the monitor and see what we see, guys. So basically, step one is we're going to screw the base of the camera into the camera. Looks pretty straight 
straight forward there. Just screw that bad boy in. Camera is standing up, guys. And check this out on the side. You got a little thing to loosen. And if you want to have it pointed at an angle, you can do that. So I'm going to straighten that out in a second. But now it's off to the monitor. And easy process, guys. Got the memory card. It just goes right in the side here. Just push it in and it should stay. Yep, there it is. Screw the old antenna into the back. Now flip it up. And then there's another antenna here. Flip it up. Now receiving the frequency. Now guys, I just plugged these two cords together, plug that in, and then we got the other adapter here. Gonna plug that right into the back. And now we're in business, guys. So I'm just gonna point the camera out the window, then go into the other room with the monitor and see if it works as intended. Look out, criminals, you're not safe here. We got the Defender, yeah! All right, here we are, guys, at the command center. Now... For the moment we've all been waiting for, gonna hit the power button. Maybe that wasn't the power button. Power, power, power. Uh, you know, it would help if I actually knew where the power button was and it's on top. Oh, there we go. Wow, that is a crisp screen. Actually higher resolution than I thought. Now let's see, whoa, there it is guys. The backyard oh we got a little echo there look at that so i can be in the next room and know what's going on in the backyard see if there's any animals back there oh i see a little bird actually let's try to zoom in on the bird whoa let's see so it's just got two kind of zoom phases let's see views what's that do i guess that's if you have multiple cameras cam one so you can have two i saw you can buy them with two and you can probably add more if you want this is actually not bad I'm really happy with it already. Now I'm probably never going to use this feature, but I want to show you guys the recording capabilities. I guess it keeps it all organized by camera. So if you want to go back and see what happened on a particular day, say you were getting a Amazon or FedEx delivery and you wanted to make sure it was delivered and nobody messed with it while it was sitting on your front porch, you can do that. Now guys, going to do another little test here. Got the camera upstairs on the complete opposite end of the house, pointed towards the side yard now and we're gonna see if it actually comes in how the signal is if it's choppy so powering this bad boy on let's see what's it gonna be like guys come on come on oh there it is look at that all right nice view of the street going on oh there's a car going by and see what it looks like when we zoom okay not too bad from the opposite end of the house very very happy with this product so far I'll tell you that now guys, I'm probably going to use this camera to see who's at my front door. That's the main reason I bought this. I'm going to have it pointed at the front door. That way I know when the doorbell rings, is it a sketchy salesman, somebody up to no good, or is it somebody that I really have to get up and answer the door for? So here we are. It's pointed at the front door, which is also kind of at the other side of the house, kind of far away, and we'll see how it performs. Come on, show me that front door. And where is it? Oh, there it is. Is, looks familiar there's the front door guys and now this is half closed but if I really wanted to see who's out there I would just leave it open that way I could look right through the window and see who it was and see how the zoom works here I'm gonna zoom in and see what it looks like oh, so I could adjust that to make it kind of a little bit higher so you're getting right in the person's grill right there so that way you know if somebody's messing around with your house messing around with the door you know who it is you got a shot of their dome piece all right guys one more thing got it in another room it's up in my office right now. Just a few more ideas. You can use this also to keep an eye on a pet. Say you got a pet who likes to hang out in one room and you're in a different room. You want to make sure they're not tearing the place apart. You can check in on them. You can use it as a baby monitor. You can also use it to check in on an elderly family member. Say they're up there doing something. You want to check in on them from time to time. Make sure they didn't fall down. So here we go. Again on the opposite side of the house. See how it is. There's the office. Nobody in there now working hard. All right guys. It's nighttime, the clock has struck 3 a.m. So we're gonna check out the Defender's long range night vision. Does this bad boy perform in the nighttime in the dark? We're gonna see. And for this experiment, we're joined by my assistant, Cayman Jack. 
Oh yeah, baby. Now, as you can see, guys, it's pitch black out there, but there are some raccoons that have been digging up the yard. Let's see if we can catch them in the act with the Defender camera's night vision capabilities. So here goes, guys, pressing power. What are we gonna see? Some deer, some squirrels, raccoons, maybe some foxes, some coyotes out there. Ooh, wow. Oh, you know what it is, guys? That's the reflection of the camera. It's not really working right now. Let me see if I can kind of adjust that and see if we can get a legit picture. That's just the reflection of the camera in the window from the glass. So guys, I turned all the lights off in that room so there shouldn't be any glare, any reflection now. We'll see what's going on in the backyard at three in the morning. And what is there? Oh, still got a little bit of reflection from the window. Ah, all right, so you're really not going to get a full picture of what's going on. Let's hit that zoom. Where'd the zoom go? Maybe the zoom will make things a little bit better. Well, not really. You know, I'm not going to say it's a disappointment though, because like I said, the deterrent factor is what I really got this camera for. And with the lights like that, you know, the intruder, the criminal, they're going to see those lights from a mile away and they're going to say, whoa, 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 let's go to the next house down the road. This guy, he is not messing around. He's got the Defender camera. $143, one and done. It's a one-time investment. You can move the camera around, put it anywhere you want. There's no monthly fee associated with it and best of all the camera is a deterrent you have that in the window the criminal the intruder sees that they're gonna say whoa I'm not gonna mess with this house let's go on to the next one it's peace of mind guys down payment on peace of mind so guys Jonathan Brown Menzies if you like this video hit that like button right now leave a comment leave a suggestion I respond to everything if you really like this video please subscribe thanks guys until next time Jonathan Brown Menzies signing off with the Defender review. Protect what you value most. Don't mess with this house. We got the Defender.